All right, so this is a wheel. We have uh, a leaking wheel seal. You see how wet this drum is? And look at the inside of this wheel and the splatter on the tire. So it's this front one here. Now we've got the wheels off. If you don't, if you're running a oil bath hubs and you don't have one of these, go to speedcaps.com and get yourself one. Maybe. There you go. Fits right on there. You loosen them right up. Won't damage the caps, won't break the caps. Uh, nothing you have to worry about. It was handy tool I found when dealing with oil bath hubs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the hubs out and then we try to get these drums pulled off tonight because sun's starting to go down. It's after four o'clock now and uh, starting to get cold. So we'll get these drums pulled off and uh, see what we're gonna need to fix this up. Alrighty. So we got our proper work shoes on here in Crocs. Got that cap off. The size of these cotter pins is absolutely ridiculous. I'll see if I can't get a hold of them. They're all obviously covered in gear oil. So they're a little tough. I'm trying to get them separated. If you ever worked on this last, which I'm going to assume is probably from the factory, did a dang good job of bending these. I might have to get a bigger pair of channel locks here. I can't get them separated. There we go. These get them apart so we can uh, straighten them up. Leaves everywhere, falling into my stuff. There we go. Cutter pens are such a pain in the butt. I'll check up with you guys when I get this out. Alright, well the hub's off. You can see the magnet fell out. When I was taking everything apart, so that may be why that brake may not have been working but this is a seal that's leaking inside the drum I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a seal right here that lets oil get by and that's why it's all in the inside of the drum all over the brake pads so we're gonna pull everything else off on this side assess the damage that one's not leaking, but while I got everything apart, might as well put a new seal in it so it doesn't. And uh, kind of go from there. Oh, Alright, so the leaves are falling. And we've got work to do. So, stopped by the trailer parts store today. Got a... Um, Got four new wheel seals, picked up a case of brake clean, picked up an empty beer can. Here's the wheel seal that's leaking. I mean, look at the size of it. It's a pretty big, pretty big seal. Um, that's in the inside of the hub here. You can see where the bearing rides. I don't know if you can see with the, the shade, I apologize. But we're going to get this cleaned up, this drum cleaned up, get everything cleaned up already sprayed 
already sprayed everything down uh, i'm gonna take that drum off and finish this side i won't bore you guys with two sides i'll just show you one side and I'll also show you how i got this um this wheel seal out when i get the other hub off i was trying something last night because i didn't have something the right size to get down in there and this <laughs> it's funny this uh gooseneck ball actually worked perfect for the for pressing the bearing out so we'll show you that once we get the other drum off so i'm gonna work on getting the other drum off and i'll check up with you guys then Alright, so there's the new wheel seal. As you can see, no, you can't. Old versus new. And this, well, you gotta put the bearing in, but this sets down in there like that and then presses in. And those ridges are what makes the seal uh, to keep the hub oil in. So to find something around this size to press that straight in you don't want to let it get cockeyed on you it's just going to do the same thing it's going to leak again all right so i got this side off back on the other side of the trailer now i've just been working away and i just sprayed this down so i could show you guys this seal that i'm talking about again nicely made in taiwan no wonder it's leaking so i'll show you how i get these out I have to flip this drum upside down, so I'll sit you guys down and I'll show you how I press that seal out the other way. Alright, so with the drum flipped upside down, these suckers are heavy. All the weight's out here, so they're kind of awkward to lift up, so be careful. I wouldn't be surprised. These things probably weigh 70, 80 pounds a piece. What I have is I have this gooseneck ball. You've got to find something that can fit right down in there and that you can hit square. It'll pop the seal and the bearing out. So I just get a um, probably a dead blow and just pound this down and it'll get that seal and that bearing to pop out and just like that seal and bearing you can see where the seal sits in here right along there I'm trying to focus the camera right along there and then the bearing sits down inside of that so we'll get uh, get this cleaned up a little more we'll get a new seal and we'll put a new bearing in anyway since we're in there all right and to put the seal back in find something that's about the same diameter as it set it down on top and hit it but you want to watch to make sure it doesn't get cocked then you're just going to have a leak around the edge make sure it's fully seated all the way around and then it's uh it's ready to be installed back onto the trailer all right so what's my takeaway from all this let me get it to this room so the lights aren't so effed up all right so what's my takeaway from all this well um coming from using 7k axles all the time to switching over to 10k on this trailer um and it be an oil bath versus grease oil is a lot easier to clean up it doesn't cling as much to everything unless it's real burnt up but all that was fresh fluid so you really just have to hit it with brake clean and it just runs right out everything cleans up real easy don't have to repack them uh, so the process is a lot, I wouldn't say cleaner because I'm filthy, but it's a lot easier. It's a lot less of a mess, should I say. Um, now, 10K axle parts are 10 times heavier than those. So lugging those around is a pain in the butt. But uh, just even if like you have a hand or like I like to do is sit on my butt and use like my legs too to lift it up like I do when I'm changing tires. Um, and that helps what else um if i had to pick oil over grease um for changing parts i would pick oil but if i had grease this probably wouldn't have happened so i don't know if i would convert this trailer which is i have a couple offers pending on it so i'm really just trying to get it back to where it should be 
um, and where it was. Make sure it's a safe trailer for whoever buys it next. So my takeaway is um, if you have basic knowledge of tools, you have a decent tool, you know, a toolkit and just some basic knowledge and just hop on YouTube. If you don't hop on and watch this video, um, you could save yourself a lot of money by just doing this yourself. I mean, I did all four and probably between the two days, about three hours total. It honestly took me longer to clean up all the tools and everything than it did to actually do the job. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.